What's up guys, Doom Wake here. Welcome to another modern video on the channel. Before we continue, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and please be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the video. So we haven't played Rhinos in a couple of weeks, and I figured it was a good time to kind of dust them off a little bit. They're gathering some dust on the shelf. And what better way to do that with this version that I saw 5 would a recent modern league on Magic Online, and I like a lot of what's going on here, and we also get to play with three copies of, you guessed it, Fiery Justice in the main deck. Um, so before we get into that, we'll talk about kind of the what's going on, what's different here than the versions we played in the past. So we're going with Arden Plea and Shardless Agent instead of Violent Outburst. The reason that we're playing Arden Plea instead of Violent Outburst is because we want to make sure we have enough white cards to support Solitude. Solitude's a very powerful effect that right now because of how prevalent Death Shadow is. It's also really good against Hammer Time. So you kind of get some good percentage points against two of the three best decks in the format. So that's why I really like Solitude. In order to play Solitude, you have to play more white cards, which means you have to swap the Cascade spells around. You do lose a little bit of percentage points against counter spells because you can't Violent Outburst and, you know, back it up with Force Negation on your opponent's turn like you would normally be able to. These are both Sorcery Speed. So you lose a little bit of percentage points there, but the percentage points you gain by adding Solitude, I think, more than make up for that. Um, a lot of other stuff that we've that we've seen here, we are branching out into that that fourth color. We also get to play four copies of Teferi, only three copies of Omnath. I've tried four in the past, but I think three is probably about right if you're going to play 60 card four color. You know, we've tried versions with Yorion in the past. I think four is probably right in those versions, but in this 60 card version, I do like three copies. And then we have um, the the new kid on the block, as it were, even though this is probably the oldest card in the deck, Fiery Justice. So it's a card that is um, red, green, white, and as you can see, it deals five. You can split it up, and your opponent gains five. Why is that good? So it's really good against Hammer Time because if, well, Sans them having an actual hammer, because obviously if they have a hammer on their thing, you can't Fiery Justice it and kill it with damage. But if they're starting to go wide with, like, multiple Memnites and Esper Sentinels, you can clean up stuff that way. Also, against Death Shadow, as you can probably imagine with Solitude, giving your opponent life is really powerful. So, think, imagine your opponent has, like, a Shadow and a Dragon's Rage Channeler, and you deal 3 to their Channeler or deal 5 to their Channeler and make them gain 5 life. It's probably going to kill both of their creatures, so... Very powerful effect against Death Shadow, and something that I hope we get to play against Shadow in the league, because I really want to see how that particular interaction plays out. And then the usual suspects here, four Fire Eyes, four Force of Negation. Only going with three Brazen Borrower, because we needed to make room for the white cards. I think that's fine. Maybe you could cut a Fire Justice for a Borrower. That might be the sensible thing to do, but, you know, Fire Justice is awesome, so we're going to play with that card. Mana base here. Uh, I changed a couple of the lands from the 5-0 list. I think I just moved a couple of the fetch lands around. I didn't change too much. I think I might have swapped like two or three fetch lands, but uh, the fetch land split is weird because, for example, Flooded Strand can't get Stomping Ground, Misty Rainforest can't get Sacred Foundry, and then Scalding Tarn can't get Temple Garden. So you have to try and figure out which lands you want to prioritize. So you might want to change up the split a little bit, but I think this is mostly fine. And then Cyborg's really clean here. We got four Endurance for the Graveyard decks, four Force of Vigor for Hammer Time, four Dispute for the Control matchup. And then we're adopting what I've done in the past with the Yorion Rhinos version, and then playing Core Firewalker in the sideboard to help the burn matchup. And the idea is you just board out your Crashing Footfalls, you bring in Firewalkers, and you always cascade into Firewalker. And usually that's good enough to, to beat the burn matchup. Um, so yeah, we haven't played Rhinos in a couple of weeks. I figured it was, uh, you know, a good time to get some more Rhino content on the channel, because it's been a little bit, and uh, that's all I got. So I'll see you back here in just a little bit for our number one. Oh, no. Playing against the Fun Police. Is this hand good against the Fun Police? I mean, I got ice to do a Cascade spell, so I guess... It's not great, but... You know, Fun Police. No, probably Tron. Wait, what? I guess they're Prowess? I guess they have to be pl prowess, right? Still, I think it makes sense. Yeah, some kind of M Hayashi nonsense. All right, okay. <laughs> she got the burn. No, oh, they're not Eldrazi because they have Channeler, right? I don't think they would play Channeler and Eldrazi. 
because I don't think if you I don't think you would have enough creatures or non creatures in Eldrazi to uh, for for Channeler, right? So they got to be some kind of prowess deck. Well, you know, you know that's how it goes. Predictions for tomorrow's bans. I haven't thought about it a ton. I mean, I kind of hope that Luris goes. I don't know what they're what they're thinking though. It's funny we were talking to chat earlier. What if this is all just like a giant debate and they don't actually do anything in modern? You know, like the bands are just legacy or vintage or something, and just like modern's no changes. What if we're all getting baited? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want my prediction? Fiery Justice is instantly getting banned. There's a BNR tomorrow morning. Damn it! Didn't draw land. Unlucky. Unlucky. <clears throat> the hell was that? I'm just gonna unban fetch lands in Pioneer, maybe. <laughs> that is true. Brought back is the real offender here. I thought they were gonna cast Bloodband, but they just picked up Giganta. Land! God damn it! Alright, I guess I'm discarding. Sorry, chat. Don't get mad at me, I discarded Fiery Justice. You can have that. That is acceptable. Seriously? Okay, now now let's get a little trolly. Um I'm gonna discard Teferi, because this at least kills Gigantha. And 5-5's five, five, so big. No, I don't want to ice now. I only have one Triumph in my deck, so it's unlikely I draw the one Triumph, but I really want to stop them from casting Giganta. Because, like, what I want, what I what I need to happen is I need to have a board presence before they play, start playing Gigantas. You know what I mean? I don't want them to play a Giganta this turn. So I'm going to risk drawing the one Triumph. <clears throat> Did they accidentally register Giganta instead of Obosh? I mean, perhaps. They're probably playing Reckless Impulse, though, right? That would make sense. I'm not forcing this. Maybe if they play Light Up the Stage, I'll force it, but... Okay, they have a 3-3. Three, three. It's fine. Let's go Island Shardless. Oh, Island was bad. Oh, it's fine. I can just get planes off of this. Playing the Island is really awkward in this deck because Island does not cast Fiery Justice. But I could just cast it off of Planes off the Heath, so it's not that bad. No, you definitely don't want to play Teferi here, you just want to jam. Because if they cast like some burn spell, I can just force it. I just wanna I just wanna jam. I can race. I'll, I'll win this race pretty easily. Like when they get to play Gigantha? Like who cares? I'll just very bounce that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, now I'll just go to Fairy Bounce Gigantha attack for 10. With Force Up. Bouncy Bounce. Bouncy Bounce. Tanya. When I say jam, do you mean to say cat jam? I actually mean to say rhino jam. It's like rhino jelly, you know? Rhino jam, get it? It sounds kind of gross, right? It does sound kind of kind of rancid. Okay, we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll edit that one out. That's kind of gross. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, Rhino Marmalade. Ever heard of it before? Ooh, a Raminap Ruins. I believe they are still dead. <clears throat> Dude, Bacon Jam is Bacon Jam is awesome. Bacon Jam is really good. 
Fiery justice about to be cracked. Yeah, but the thing is, they're already dead. It's like, stop, he's already dead. Ooh, they're gonna let me cast it. Uh, Alright, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, shall we? I don't know if this is going to kill them. Mm. I mean, it probably still will, right? It probably still will. I'm going to go two and two in case they play a spell. All right, fiery justice. Go two two one. I obviously don't care about the channeler. Uh, okay. Wait, what the hell? Oh. Alright, go. <clears throat> yeah, two, each on, two on each abbot, one on opponent. Then if they have one spell, then their abbots are still dead. I guess they could have two spells, but... It's not like I'm really dying. I'm at 14 and I have two forces up. <laughs> like, this game's over. Well, no, it gains them four life, right? Because I'm because I'm dealing them one point with the fiery justice, so I'm only giving them four life. All right, they have two spells, so they don't die, die, but they just like kind of die. Go space two, yeah, go space. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna gain four life off of the exchange. It deals five, and they and they gain five. But you can divide the five up as you choose. So, like, for example, if they have a 1-1, one, one, and you can just do one to the 1-1 one, one, and four to them to make it so they don't gain that much life kind of thing, so. <laughs> Fiery Justice is cracked. Uh, I guess they're just going to sack all their lands to kill my Omnath. I don't know why they didn't do this before I fetch, though. I also still get to attack with everything because these are oh no they're they're fives. But wait, if they block the shardless, they die, right? No, because they're at nine. So if I attack with everything, they block shardless, take eight, go to one. Whatever, I'll just leave it back. <clears throat> I mean, I guess, technically, I could lose this game. Probably not, but I could. <clears throat> Imagine Fiery Justice instead of put up with Layla to Sanctity in play. As in, you just can't cast it. Is it still bugged? How was it bugged before? You just can't cast it, right? If they have a Leyland of Sanctity in play, I don't think you can cast Fire of Justice. I think you're just not allowed to cast it. Yeah, you just can't cast it, right? You need two targets. So, do you remember the card called uh, Decimate? from? Uh, I think it was from Odyssey. The card Decimate was two red-green, destroy an artifact, an enchantment a land and a creature, but you needed four targets to cast it. You need all you need all the targets. <clears throat> and if you don't have four if you if you can't satisfy all the targets, you just can't cast the spell. I think I'm gonna pitch Arden Plea. I don't think I need more rhinos to win this game. Am I dead if they have two more bolts? No, if they have two bolts, I go to one. Right? Three, four, five, ten, thirteen. Yeah, I go to one if they have two bolts. So even if they have two bolts, I still don't die. <clears throat> yeah, 
Hex is a good one too. What's that? Just four BB destroy six target creatures. There's some other ones too, right? That are like that. Oh, they have Gigantha, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also can't have two bolts because they have Ramming Up. Good point. True, true, true. No, you're right. You're right. Oh, they're allowed to cast two bolts, but they are bolting my face. I mean, I know their last card's Gigantha, so I guess I'll just force this. Alright. Doom Wake wins. So let's employ the Firewalker plan. It's kind of funny because I, I still think I want the Crashing Footfalls. I kind of want both. Is that weird? It's like one of those things where like sometimes I'm going to cascade into Firewalker, but that's just going to be good enough a lot of the time. I'm not really the biggest fan of Force of Negation, I think. I think I'm going to cut the Force of Negations and bring in Endurance as a blocker. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Fiery Justice is not Pog. Why is Fiery Justice not Pog? I've ca I cast one that game, Eli. It didn't do that much. I targeted two Abbots, but they just had spells to protect them, so it didn't do that much. What are okay? Give me some more examples of cards that you can't cast. You know what I mean, like that, uh, with cards with like four or five targets. There's hex. There's decimate. There's got to be more, right? I know it's like it's a terrible design, so they probably didn't do that much of it. But this game good. Seems kind of bad. Yeah, I'm on the draw. Keep it. Draw white source. It's good. What website is this? This is not a website. It's a program called Magic the Gathering Online. Oh, chat. This is what we've devolved into, huh? Is this, is this going to happen every single time I ask a question? Just like every single time? Does not matter what the question is. Am I casting salt, dude? Nah. I probably should have mulligan the sand. The sand's pretty bad. The more I think about it, the sand's actually awful. Alright, not a bad draw. Probably have to cast a solitude this turn. Maybe I was supposed to main phase solitude kill the channeler, but kind of would rather kill a prowess creature. Specifically the soul scar mage. Because that one's actually kind of helps them win combat sometimes. <laughs> Hands busted. Yeah, I mean, this hand was going to be good when I drew a white source, but... Dude, Eileen is an old one, huh? Oh, shit. That's kind of scary. Hmm... Well, hmm. I think I'm on a solitude pitch ardently, and then if I draw a white card, I can cast ardently and then solitude pitch, and then just have two four fours versus a blood moon and no creatures, and hope that's good enough. <clears throat> Because I'm not going to have time to cast both Solitudes anyways. Because they have the... Or both Arden, please. Because they have the Blood Moon. So I should certainly pitch one to this. For sure. I gave them an extra life. I should have waited to respond to the Browse Trigger, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can we just Solitude the Blood Moon? Does that work? It's fine, right? It's a legal maneuver. Alright, I kind of want to draw a White Guard. Uh, Well... It's not bad. It's not the worst. The issue is I'm just so low on life. <clears throat> this deck run EMT. What's EM? Mm. You're going to get me with a D's Nuts joke? Hmm. 
<laughs> or rat assault to damage three. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen, Mad Cow Chicken. Thanks, buddy. Got him! Got him! Kind of sucks if they flip this, because then I can't fire it. They kept the card on top. Okay, that's good, because now they have no attacks. So I'm taking zero damage. It's not a white card. Hmm. I think I just attack for five. And probably just kill the channeler now while I still can. <clears throat> so yeah, attack for five, leave back the other rhino. Uh they kept the card on top, which means it's probably a spell, so I kinda have to kill the channeler now. So I'll get a free point. All right, your turn. So now we can block the Swiss Spear. We have more Rhinos coming next turn. It's not a bad spot. I mean, we're at seven, but... <clears throat> I don't love being at seven against the red deck. Okay, that's fine. That I can beat. Wait, they're attacking? I mean, I will trade this Rhino for any amount of cards. I don't care, because I have more Rhinos coming. If they want to trade this for... Yeah, totally fine. Totally fine with that. Because now they go to 12 and I have three four fours. So... Kind of okay with that. And I drew a white card, which is really good for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, I have rhinos? What is this? How could this be? Managed to find one Arkham's Astrolabe out. <laughs> that card is such a terrible design. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Come on. Like, who actually thought that was a good idea? See, that's why we boarded the Firewalkers. Five head. Can I get some five heads in the chat? Any five heads? Yeah, so many exalted triggers. Arden plea never looks so good. Arden plea never looked so good. <clears throat> oh no. Wait, what's this? Oh, okay. So they're just conceding? Cool. Lit. I thought I was dead for a second. <laughs> I was like, wait, what sequence of cards could possibly kill me? Alright. You got him. You got me. You got me. I attack. <clears throat> attack with my creatures. <laughs> Alright, we're 1 0. Fiery Justice. Let's go. Belfi. Belfi. Uh, Belfi's usually on Living End. This hand's pretty atrocious against Living End. I've never seen him not play a Cascade deck, but I don't know. It's just hard to mulligan this hand, like, in the dark. But maybe I should not play as if I'm in the dark, because he never doesn't play Cascade. The economy in that game is in... Oh, dude, the economy is so good. It's like, what arena... You know, it's like what it, what Arena dreamed of ever being. That's the best. That's the best reason to play it. Just the economy is so good. If Arena had anything similar, ooh, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. 
how expensive is it is it to get into so i've spent a total of twenty dollars which i didn't even need to spend i probably could have not i probably could have spent like not even ten dollars maybe spent nothing um but you get so many you get so many gems from just doing all of the like the campaign there's a bunch of free stuff you can do you can literally build like a tier one deck for zero dollars just by like gathering gems opening packs all this stuff literally actual zero dollars you can just build like a tier one deck it's awesome it's so good I mean, there's a little bit of an economy. <clears throat> the economy is like... It's similar to Arena, where you can't buy cards, you can only buy packs. But the difference is there's dusting. We're talking about Master Duel. So the difference is, like, you can dust... Uh, similar to Hearthstone. I don't know what the what the ratio is in Hearthstone, but, like... Let's say you need to have... There's, like, rarities. They have rare, ultra rare, super rare... And if you need a rare, it's 30 points to craft it. And if you if you dust one of your other rares, you get 10 points. So every three rares you dust, you can craft a rare. Same thing with supers, same thing with ultras. <clears throat> what Yu-Gi-Oh deck would I recommend if I like to generate graveyard decks? I don't know enough about the metagame. I only know about the deck that I built. So I don't really know much else besides the deck that I built, but the deck that I built's alright. Blue card. That is not what I wanted to draw. That is the opposite of what I wanted to draw, actually. Oh, I tapped horribly. I tapped atrociously. I thought I left the green source untapped. Shit. I built Tri Brigade. I built a couple different versions of it. There's like the Lyra. I don't know how to say that word. It's like Lyralisk Tri Brigade, regular Tri Brigade. There's like a couple different versions of Tri Brigade. Yeah, burn up. I don't know which one's better. I've tried them both. I still don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just, like, I know what a couple of my cards do, and I know, like, I know what the best cards are, and I know how to get to the best cards. It's, like, the thing that I'm having trouble with is the the pathways to, like, on lower resources when I don't always have access to, like, the, like, the sure egg. That's my issue. It's, like, those kinds of games. Sure egg is fucking nuts, though. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, I have no rhinos left. It would have been good if I had rhinos, but... I think attacking is kind of bad. Hmm. This feels like a game that I can't win. I know that sounds weird to say, but I am in trouble. I mean, I guess kind of half the trade, right? Kind of half the trade. <clears throat> Attacking with one? One doesn't do anything, it's double block. I guess they might play around a bounce spell, but... Droplet is broken. I don't really know how to use Droplet. <laughs> I have, like, all these cards, like... Maxi and Ash and Droplet and Permanence, and I'm just like, oh, people say these cards are broken. I have no idea why they're broken, you know? I kind of understand it, but... Well, I, I think I get Maxi. Maxi is... I, I, for some reason, I thought that Maxi just cycled. I, I thought it just cycled, and then I did it once, and then I drew four cards, and I was like, okay, this is kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah. right, this, this, is kind of, this is kind of insane. It's like... It's basically a reverse glimpse of nature, but the thing is, every creature is free anyways, so. Beery, huh? It's not great. Oh, it's Stream Decker down? Hold on. Stream Decker, why you hate me? Alright, try it again, Dread. Also, what's up, buddy? 
I'm going to save my Fetchland in case I draw Omnath. They still have three cards in their hand, and I have no Rhinos left. Yeah, I just can't win this game. I know it sounds like, it looks like an early concession, but I, I'm just dead. Like, they have more resources, I have no Rhinos left. There's just no point in playing. Um, Fiery Justice seems kind of bad in this matchup. Mm. Well, the other cards are pretty good. I think three disputes is fine. <clears throat> Doesn't seem really to you. Yeah, it's just like I mean I had spells in my hand, but the problem is I had no Rhinos left, and they still had three of theirs, three of them in their deck. So even if we just trade a bunch, like they just I they you know what I mean? I can't win that game. I could bring an Endurance to shuffle Rhinos back in. I don't know if that's actually good. I've always considered it, but I don't know what I would play Endurance over. Yeah, I just, like, I know it is. I just don't know what to cut. Like, I already kind of want to get the fourth dispute in there. Maybe Omnath is bad? Omnath is not the best against Fury, huh? It's more threats, though. I don't know. Uh, Sand's so medium. I'm going to keep it just because Mulliganing in the Mirror is so bad. Like, it's just a resource battle. I'll keep almost any 7 card hand that just is even close to functional. Because it's just all about cards. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, if you trade off Rhinos early and you just start hardcasting Solitudes, it gets you a pretty big advantage. It's, like, your version of Fury, because Fury is kind of the same thing where it only kills one Rhino. I mean, Fury is a better attacker because it also trades with another Rhino, but... Go. Get fire iced. I feel like we're gonna get fire iced. Did not get fire iced. All right, I'm gonna jam the shit out of this. Uh, I'm gonna get a basic, and then if they have blood meat, I could just let it resolve and bounce it. But I'm gonna force them to either force this or let me have it. And if they let this resolve and then cast theirs, then I can force theirs. So. They did let it resolve, which means good chance they have, like, Barber or something here, which I think is fine. Because they're going to go Barber, untap, cascade. I'll force, untap, cast Barber into turn, probably. Alright. Rhino has been bounced. Is Yo Rhino's dead? No, not dead. <coughs> Main phase. I am gonna fight. Just for tempo purposes. Might not be the best fight, because I am pitching a borrower, which does clean up one Rhino, but I think it's fine. All right, dig six. Go to 11. They're probably going to cast another one. But now it's, like, awkward for them because I'm representing hard cast dispute. I mean, they don't have a choice. They have to jam, but... A watch repair YouTube, huh? It's kind of cool. I did not know that either.
All right, what do we got? Seems like they're casting a Cascade spell. Bone Crusher Giant, huh? All right, that resolves. Uh, I'm going to get the White Triome. Uh, I could aggressively just jam this Borrower. <coughs> I got more Rhinos coming off. 11, 15, 4, 5, 6, 9, they go to 6. I actually kind of like aggressively jamming this. Maybe it's not the best if they have Fury, but... Like, if I draw a land, I'm just going to play Solitude. Uh, that works, right? Just ice this thing. Good draw. They go to two. Yeah, I think they're dead. I don't think they have outs. I do not think they have outs. I'd be surprised if they have outs. Because even if Footfalls doesn't do it, because the bar was just lethal by itself. Suspending a Crashing Footfalls, that's not going to do it. Alright, cool. Cool. <laughs> Mystic Gate into Supreme Verdict. Alright, I don't know. Dude, sideboarding in the mirror is so weird. Like, I want to bring in some number of these cards. Potentially the fourth dispute and maybe a couple endurances. Chat was suggesting cutting Solitude. How, what, do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Maybe Solitude is not as good as I think it is in the mirror. Because, like, it doesn't really line up that well against a Shardless Agent. Right? Especially, you, like, pitch casting a Solitude is not... Like, that's not going to get you anywhere. What if I just cut all the Solitudes? And just bring in, like, Dispute 3 Endurance. Maybe go 3 Solitudes for Dispute 2 Endurance. Keep in 1 Solitude. Could do that. Yeah, Fire Ice is also worse than the draw, but I still think it's good enough to keep. <clears throat> Could also do like two solitudes and a fire ice for two of these in a dispute, which is actually probably not bad, right? Something like this, maybe. Keep three fire ice, two solitude, two endurance. I don't hate that. Kind of split it up a little bit. Let's try that. Let's try that. Mm. The sand is really weird. I'm gonna keep it. I know the sand looks bad, and it's not great, but it's got a lot of disruption. I don't know if that's a good thing. I think if they just go land go, I'm probably not gonna crack. Just make it so they can't upkeep ice me. Yeah, we'll just play we'll just play Drago for a little bit. Mm. I could play basic planes. Yeah, let's actually play mm. Well, no, because if they play Blood Moon, what I can do is just uh, get Breeding Pool, Float Blue, Let Blood Moon Resolve, Bounce It, Untap, Sacred Foundry, Teferi. So yeah, this is fine. Like, I assume they're not going to go for a Cascade spell. Because they're worried about Teferi. But I guess they can just upkeep the Cascade spell if they have Outburst. Question is, do I fetch now to get the Triome? They didn't ice me last turn, so I think it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, they're probably going to upkeep Outburst. Yeah, they're going to upkeep Outburst. Which means... Mm, I probably just bounce one with Borrower. And then play a tap land. Yeah. Yeah, this happens. I 
Alright, it resolves. Okay, blue source would not be too bad, because then I could bounce with the speed up. F. This is not great. I need to find a blue source next turn. So I can go to Fairy with the speed up. I would love to be able to use this force of negation. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, but... <clears throat> Any Dark Horse band predictions that probably won't happen, but you think could maybe happen like 10% probability? It's uh, another weird one. What's like something that's not really that likely? I don't know, it's tough. Yeah, the Shardless is kind of annoying, because now they can attack the Teferi. Still have five cards in hand, too. I mean, I probably still have to Teferi to bounce the Rhino, because I just have nothing else going on, but... Yeah, I'm just going to let them kill Teferi. It's not the best, but... Kills their Rhino. Eh, fine. My hand sucks. I think Bobble's definitely more than 10%. Lurus and Bobble are definitely highest on the list. I'm trying to think of, like, a Dark Horse one. I mean, maybe Channeler? I think people have finally realized that Channeler is more powerful than Ragavan. Saga's a pretty good one, yeah. I don't think Saga's likely, but... You have a third Cascade spell... It's not great. We are dead. Chat, we are dead. The game is over. Alright, you win. Alright, fine. Sand's like pretty marginal, but I think it's okay. I'm down for whatever. I just want some change. I don't know, I'm just kind of bored, you know? Maybe I should just go, maybe I should just start, become, maybe I should just become a, uh, a full-time Master Duel streamer. What do you think, chat? Full-time Master Duel, anybody? We need some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and magic, yeah. Dude, I've been having so much fun over the past couple of days of Master Duel. So much fun. Depending on how the, the rest how long the rest of this league goes, I was gonna try and play a couple duels tonight. Even though I have no clue what I'm doing. Like full stop, I I played yesterday for like eight hours. And I still have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm winning because my deck is broken, but. Like, I have, I have kind of an idea of what I'm doing, but not, like, a full idea, if you know what I mean. It's like... Like, I kind of get it, but not really. Like, I know enough of what's going on to, like, do, like, the bare minimum, if that makes sense. How many monkeys? What do you mean? What kind of monkey? What did they reveal? Oh, rage forging, huh? We're doing some rage forger nonsense. I see. I see. I would like to cast Shardless Agent. And I would like to cascade into Crashing Footfalls. Please and thank you. I did. Well, I bought a deck. I spent, okay, so I spent, I think I spent 20 bucks on gems, but I didn't have to, because I ended up um, acquiring enough gems from just doing, like, storylines, and uh, they have daily missions and daily quests, so there's enough stuff to do where you can get enough gems, and you don't have to spend any money, and I literally have, like, one of the best decks in the format. I just bought, like, I just went on to, like, a website and found, like, the most played tier one deck, and I just copied that list. But I had enough to do it, like, literally just from from free stuff. It's so good. 
And obviously my, you know, my gem, my, my gems are no, like, I've used most of my gems, but. Uh, Tri Brigade. I, I made Tri Brigade. All right, they have cast a Rage Forger card. Forget what this card does. Uh, whenever you control, I'm going to attack, man. Okay, cool. So attack you for eight, and then place more rhinos. Bet. I assume they're going to double block with these two. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just take eight. Am I going to die next turn? Maybe. I have nothing else to do, so just cast my cards. I'm just gonna play my cards. You hear every deck rotates with every new printing. Does it? Well, see, the thing is, there's a lot of staples. There's like certain cards like Ash Blossom and Maxi and Impermanence, Forbidden Droplet. There's a lot of cards that just go into a ton of decks. And they're, like, all high rarity. So most of the high rarity cards that I crafted are, like, those staples, you know? They usually ban the best deck. I mean, there's, like... I think there's enough... There's enough, like, enough best decks. There's a good amount of best decks, I think, from what I've seen. Is Cloud Post, did, is Cloud Post 2 busted for modern? Uh... I don't know if it's too busted... But it's like, what is what is the good outcome of unbanning Cloudpost? Just like a different Tron deck? The Tron experience is already not great. I don't know if you want more of the Tron experience. Tron becomes unplayable. Yeah, but like Cloudpost is just the same deck. It's like... It's the classic corporate is showing you two images thing. Here's a cloud post. Here's an Ursus Tower. They're actually the same image. So I'm playing against uh, shamans. I don't think I have any sideboard cards for shamans. So I'm just going to run it back. Oh, Pot of Desires is another card. So for those of you who don't know what Pot of Desires does. Uh, well, you know Pot of Greed does. Because who doesn't know what Pot of Greed does? But... They made a card, it's, uh, it literally says, exile, it's, it's exile the top 10 cards of your library and draw two cards. It's like the fixed Pot of Greed. It's still busted. There's, like, different versions of Pot of, there's, like, I think there's, like, Pot of Extravagance, Pot of, there's, like, a, a ton of different versions of Pot of Greed. Did you give lab man effects? Uh, I don't think so. There's a card. Somebody in my Discord was telling me about it. There's a card that says if your opponent has more cards in their deck than you, you or no. If you have more cards in your deck than your opponent, you mill the difference. So basically what you end up doing is you just play 60 cards, and when you cast this card, it just it just dredges 20, basically. <laughs> and you can do some like degenerate fucked up shit from there. Uh, let's get this. Yeah, grass is greener. That's what that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it seems pretty fucking busted. <laughs> You're just like, oh, yeah, I'll just mill 20. No big deal. Just play this card for free that just mills 20 cards. I don't know what you would do with it from there, but I'm sure you could find a way to kill your opponent when you mill 20 cards. I don't think it's at one. Maybe it is. Elvish Visionary. I should probably solitude this thing, right? Just exile Omnath. My hand's absurd. I can just exile Omnath. Um, have Fiery Justice if they go too wide. I have this to bounce a hate permanent and I have two Shardlesses, so should be fine. The reason that you get limits decks of 60 cards. Yeah. You just like played 80 cards and you're just like, okay, well, I'll just mill 40 cards, no big deal. We get a mountain? No, I don't have a mountain. I want to get a land that casts fire justice. I don't want to get island. So I guess I'll get 
Blue, green, Sacred Foundry? Green, yeah, Sacred Foundry is fine. <clears throat> what time will we five going with spell shift tomorrow? I'm going to start the stream at 5 or 5.30. And I have to see who else is on. It's you and Distrominator. So do you have a preference on first or second? I usually ask people in the Discord, but now that you're here, might as well ask you now. Would they cast Burning Tree Emissary? Second is easier. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think Destrominator cares. Actually, Destrominator might still be in the chat. Destro, where you at, buddy? Destro is not currently in the chat. Okay, I'll, I'll message him later. A Rage Forger. Okay, I don't know if it's correct, but I just want to cast this card. I don't care. If casting Fiery Justice is not correct, I don't want to be right. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. If casting the card is wrong, I just don't want to be right. Any bets on what gets banned tomorrow? Um, I don't know. We've been talking about it. Luris, Bobble, I think, are the two most likely outcomes. Honestly, I think the th like maybe the second most likely outcome is just no changes. People aren't realizing that this could just be a debate. You know, they don't have to do anything to modern. It could just be like ban Ragavan and Legacy and move on with our life. Imagine if that happened. Like everybody's just like talking up the ban list about all this hype, and there's just infinite talk about the ban list, and they're just like, yeah, we're just not going to change anything. Right, but they could do like Vintage Legacy or something, or Pioneer Legacy or something. I don't know. <clears throat> like obviously I think it's it's a pretty it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that Ragavan's gone in, Leg in Legacy right like that's just not even close we're not even having a discussion here let's have attack first Whatever. Don't do it. Don't do what? Sorry to insist. Why do you think Oops is better than Belcher? I just like that Oops... Uh, hold on. I like that Oops gets to play both sides of the coin. Keep. I ice you. I cast ardently. You die. That's how that works, right? It's a good deck, Heretic. It's definitely a good deck. I was actually considering building it too, but the, the DFC lands are too expensive right now. I don't know if they're ever going to go down, but they're a lot right now. I ice you. Convinced that Leg Legacy gets Ragavan gone, Historic gets Memory Lapse from the ban from Suspended. Do you think they actually give a shit about Historic? <laughs> like, honest question. Do you think they actually care about it? I don't know that they do. I'm not convinced they do. I, I mean, I guess it is still a PT format, right? Do they still have it as a PT format? Or a Mythic Championship format, whatever the fuck they want to call it? I think they do, right? They do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Treasure Cruise and Pioneer. I would not be surprised if some if Treasure Cruise got banned in Pioneer. I don't want it to happen because I literally just bought the Ascendancy deck, but, you know. Oh. This is not what I expected at all. Okay. Well. Uh, if they have Solitary, we're probably dead. Oh, no, because I could just draw a land, right? To go bounce this, bounce the Solitary. If I play a Cascade spell this turn. Yeah, I gotta play a Cascade spell. 
If I hold up a bounce spell, I'm not clocking them in two turns. So I'm basically required to play a Cascade spell this turn. And then if they have Solitaire, I, hopefully I draw land. Um, and then I can go untap, land five, Teferi, bounce the Grove, this, bounce Solitary. Or they just have nothing and die, so that works too. Cruise Band does nothing. You sure about that? Isn't Cruise just like the best card in the format? I mean, the Phoenix deck only plays two Cruise, but I also think that's that's lunacy. I don't understand why the why the Phoenix deck only plays two Cruise. I don't get it. It like it blows my mind. Change anything else? Pretty sure Solitude is my worst card. Mm, uh, Justice is worse, right? Yeah, probably. They play Trespass. I know, but like you can just fit six Delve cards. Do you realize how much, like how often that deck churns through its entire library? You can just play six Delve cards. It's not that bad. Like, the deck literally just mills its entire deck over by, like, turn five. You know? You can get away with... I think you can get away with six Delve cards. I think that's fine. The Delve time block is Temporal Trespass. Destiny Spinner. I think I'm not going to fetch it in case they have Cheesy Blood Moon. I also kind of just want to draw lands... Awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Could Solitude this in response? They have five cards. Hmm. I could Solitude this, pitch to Fairy, let this resolve. If they don't have a land, probably force this, untap, play Cascade Spell, and just kind of tempo them out. If I let this resolve, they get to keep this. I can't Solitude it. Then I guess I can just force this. If they don't have a land. Alright, I'm going to let this go. Oh, they played their land tapped? Does that mean they just have another Sterling Grove, maybe? Well, I kind of have to force, right? Because I don't want them untapping with this. <clears throat> I'm going to get a basic, just in case they have Blood Moon. Maybe I fucked this up. Oh. That was actually a really good draw. I mean, I'm going to be hellbent, but I can go Solitude this and then Force Pitch Shardless if I have to. So I can Mind Twist myself. Not exactly what I want to do, but... <sighs> Should I counter this? I have no cards left over? I think I have to, right? I kind of think I just have to. It does not feel great, but... Can't be countered. You'll see. Just bounce it. Well, the problem is, I think they're going to follow up with a one mana removal spell. Which, like, I don't know, maybe that makes this line bad anyways, because then I have nothing left over and I only have six power. See? It's just that easy. You know? You know, we just, uh, just had it the whole time. My opponent said LOL. Yeah, you know. It's kind of funny. I agree. <laughs> Any lulz in chat? Lul. 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 Are they actually laughing out loud? Unclear. Lul. 
Lulu. Ah, that was a bad draw. Well, at least we, we got one brick in there. <clears throat> They're at one. All right, your turn. Uh, I'm on the play? Nah. All right, sounds fine. I think I'm going to put back the second Fire Ice. Kind of want to suspend Footfalls on one. Eh, maybe this is worse against Slurris, but... Was worded backwards. See, I got you that way. You gotta pay attention sometimes. Oh. Um. So I can go Forest, Sacred Foundry. No, I can't do that. Forest, Plains, Steam Bents? That casts everything, right? Green, white, red, green, white, blue. So this gets Plains, this gets Steam Bents. I think I just want to kill this thing now. Although, if they played Eidolon, I could just Fiery Justice their two homies, right? I don't know what I should do here. If I should Fire, if I should Ice, if I should not cast anything. It's kind of close, right? The benefit of not casting Fire Ice is I don't have to Shock. I kind of want to... I kind of want to just chill. It looks weird, but I kind of want to just chill. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chill. Because I just don't want to shock this turn. I just... I kind of wanted to play a creature into the into the Fiery Justice. Oh yeah, this is good for me. Because they're just going to cast a creature here, I think. Oh, Suspend Rift Bolt, huh? Alright. Oh no, I can just death bounce. Uh let's get Rogger in. Yeah, now I'm just gonna death bounce. <laughs> Which bounces this and counters Oh, it's so tempting. They have five cards. Ah, oh, it's so tempting. I go to sixteen, play ardently. And let them riff bolt me. It's got to be Teferi, right? It has to be. It's just such a beating. I mean, they're just going to replay this and kill Teferi, but that's kind of fine, right? Yeah, it's just like Counterspell that draws a card and tap... It's basically... It's basically a Fire Ice that taps... That, that uh, counters a spell. Because I have to, they get they have to tap their land to replay the so spear. So it's like tap your land, counter your spell, and draw a card. Yeah, that's that's too much repeating. What's up, Gigi? How you doing, buddy? All right, it's very dead. I got five cards. Now we can Rhino. They didn't play a spell. All right, Rhino time. Deal me sixteen points. Because you're not attacking me anymore. Dude, I wish I could Fire Justice myself. Oh, that's a good sign for us. That is a really good sign for us. Excited for no bans tomorrow? We were talking about that. What if you think they're just jebating everybody? Imagine if they just jebated everybody and there's just no bans. Or unbans for that matter. I mean, I'll block. I guess they have Searing Blaze, but... I mean... I gotta block, right? Because I have more Rhinos coming off anyways. It's not really going to change the clock. Alright. More Rhinos, just in case. They gotta deal me 13 points. Right now. Yeah, they're just going to ban, like, Rashad and Port from Mercadian Masks Block Constructed or some shit. Wasn't double block correct? Uh, not necessarily if they have two bolts. I guess they can just split up the damage, right? 
Well, no, yeah, double block is worse if they have two bolts, right? Because if a single block and they just have two bolts, they kill one rhino, but then it's a 3-4, right? So isn't double blocking worse if they have two bolts because they can split up the damage? I think so. Unless I'm just stupid. I think this is when we want to cut the rhinos, right? I think this is when we want to cut the rhinos. And our deck is just all insane cards against them. Well, except the one endurance, but... I don't know. What do you think? Should I cut the rhinos? I think I should. I'm going to try it. Back when I was playing Yo, Yo Rhinos, I always cut the rhinos in this matchup. Because you just can't afford to ever cast it, cascade into anything that's not a Firewalker. And I think kind of the same thing applies. And also, they probably won't. They might not be expecting it. And then, see, you just do this sometimes. You just fucking hard cast on turn two. <laughs> Holy shit, this hand's insane. Oh my god. This hand is absurd. Oh my god. Do I want to solitude that? I probably do, right? I think I'm going to solitude that. I guess it's better to solitude an Eidolon. But I get kind of punished if they have Vortex, because then I'm going to take two hits and they'll just play a Vortex. I'm just going to solitude it. I don't really give a shit about the Eidolon. Okay, well. You know. Yeah, remember that? When you just, like, always cascaded into Spreading Seas? I remember those days. If I consider drawing another Solitude? Well, I did. I feel like our opponent's going to be uh, off this game pretty quickly. Don't think we're going to be playing this one for much longer. But something tells me... Something tells me we're not going to be playing this one for much longer. Maybe they brought in Path. Alright, no Path. That's good. You love to see that. Not a Path to Exile. Always yes, always yields. Now I can F6. Nice <laughs> shock, yeah, I know, right? How about some more Firewalkers? Oh no. Alright, upstairs. Dude, we even get the uh, Exalted. Hello, Exalted? Exalted anybody? I should have shocked there to show dominance. I should have 100% shocked there to show dominance. Boros charm me. Alright, fine. You got me. Good luck. Reverse the predictions with 30 seconds. Got him. You gotta stay on your toes, chat. You gotta stay on your toes. You never know when the prediction is going to be up. You always gotta read it. How many lava darts? Uh, what do you mean? <clears throat> Opponent's really questioning their deck choice. Oh, their burn spells? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, gut shot. <laughs> this is what we call the plan. Some deedle drops. Said double core from the footfalls deck. Shrug, you got me. That is, those are the words that were that were stated. GG's. All right, we got a little four one. If it wasn't for um, our uh, Mike just Q sniping us, we would have been we would have five would But every other match was not close to being close, so you know, <laughs> we take those. <laughs>